Hi guys. Today I want to introduce my knitting gauge formula template. A lot of people still struggle to find out your cast on number, also row count, row length, stuff like that. You know, a lot of people don't like uh, math, even if it's、uh, simple. And sometimes you get confused. I understand that. So I made formula with my Excel. And this is just a, you know, the easy, you know,、uh, formula. And it, it's nothing really fancy. So,、um, Don't get too excited. However, this is actually good enough. Okay? So you don't really have to、um, do the math anymore. Okay, so let me explain first. Okay? I am going to upload this template in my website, and this is free. And you don't have to register or nothing. Don't worry about it. Okay? I'm not making any money for this. Don't worry. And、um, don't touch anything under here. Okay? And you will see what I'm talking about. You just have to put your number here. Okay, your swatch, your gauge, need intention, and your desire length, and all that. Okay, so let's do that. People usually make swatch four by four, so four and four. Okay, your swatch. But I sometimes cheat and I need only two or one inch. Okay. And this is actually,、uh, you can use centimeter too. Don't worry about it. So, anyway, let's, let me actually talk about inches, okay? So, this is four i n c h but let me change two i n c h And you see this number, okay? I'm gonna put the castle here and type two and enter. There you go. I write this number. Change so same as this one. So you make swatch four by four. So I am going to add four here and four here. And my gauge is 15 stitch across, right? And 25 rows the height. Okay, so you put your Swatch length here across and height and stitch count 15 and 25 here. Okay, and right here you just have to add your desired length. Okay, let's say you're knitting sweater and this is your gauge. Okay. And my neck desire length is, I would say, 24. Okay? 24. So I'm going to put 24 instead of 28. 24. Here. There you go. And this is the one I'm talking about. Four inch, my swatch. Okay? My desired length, 24. I changed it here. And my swatch gauge, 15 stitch. This is your target stitch count. So your cast on, I mean, my cast on number should be 90. And if I change 28, my desired length, neck. It's gonna be, there you go, 105. It's your c 
cast on number. You know what I'm saying? And I actually put every category if you want to know the uh, stitch count target. And this is your target row count. Let's say, okay, I have four inch height of swatch and 25 row count with your gauge. So here. And my desired length is five. You know, the row height. Then I have to knit about 31.25 row, which is 31 rows. Okay, if it's six inch, how many rows? So let's change to six and enter. There it goes, 37.5. So if I want to reach six inches for rows, I have to knit at least 37 or 38, something like that. So if your gauge is only 20, just change to 20 oh, up here, not down here, okay? Because I put all the formula here. So 20, there you go, 30. So if I need 30 rows, it's going to be 6 inch, something like that. And this category, last two, sometimes you need to find out the length. Okay, let's say I said, okay, I made um, 100 uh, cast on. But your gauge and my gauge is different. So my 100 is not your 100. You know what I'm saying? So if that's the case, you're going to have to put 100 stitch count here and enter. Then go down here, 100. So it's going to be 26. So let's say I my desired length is 28 and 28 inches and I made 100, right? And if you follow my instruction, you only need 26 inches. So you might have to need more. You know what I'm saying? So for that reason, I add those two, you know, uh, category. And this is target height. Okay, this one, um, you need to figure it out when you're uh, knitting my V-neck sweater. Okay, finish the uh, increasing uh, about 100 rows. Then how deep my, you know, the V-neck will be. So, okay, if I need 90 rows to finish all increasing, okay, let's say 90, right? Go down, look, 18 inches height. If I need 90 rows, it's going to be 18 inch deep for V-neck, something like that. So I categorized. So you know exactly which one to look. You know what I'm saying? So you just have to put your swatch length and then your needing, you know, a gauge, 15, 20, 30, 40, whatever, and you put the uh, desired length there. So if I just, you know, delete it, it affect here. So there's nothing, you know, you can't, you, you have to put your desired length and all that, and this one too. If you want to use the uh, centimeter, same thing, you just have to put 10, 10, and let's say 15, 25, and your design length has to be centimeter too, right? So um, 24 inches should be about 60 centimeter. So I'm going to say 60 centimeter. There we go, 90. So super easy to use. Also, 
let me actually tell you this is okay and then 28 i should say 28 okay so i'm looking for my cast on number so i put four inch by four inch swatch 15 stitch count and 25 rows right and i'm looking for 28 inches neck desired length how many cast on 105 and let's go down there right here i usually say okay my cast on number is 105 and this number has to be multiple of six and sometimes people uh, try to look for the number uh, close to that you know and this one so easy don't touch anything in color just change here okay multiple of six enter changes automatically and go down look for close to 105 okay then multiple of six 102 or 108 okay and if i say 104 put four uh, i mean multiple of four look for the number close to 105 according to my math and right here 104 and do you know what uh, if you ever knit my raglan sweater you know i usually start with multiple of six right well and i'm gonna usually find out my magic number which is baseline number which is the whole cast divided by six so this is actually already there if i pick 108 for the uh, cast on number okay this is 18 is my magic number this is so easy okay and some uh pattern says multiple of four plus two something like that then you just add two you know multiple of six plus two which is multiple of six 84 plus two so equal 86 something like that so you don't really have to um do the math you just put the number here that's it okay so um again i am going to upload this uh onto my website so you can go there and download it's free and just you know go for it okay so you don't really have to worry about anything but still if you get confused and you don't know what to do uh, just leave the a comment below so i'll try to help you okay bye for now